Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys another 5 awesome new glitches and tricks currently working after the Doomsday Heist DLC. And as always, these 5 glitches are very different from one another. So if you guys do want to enjoy the video, do be sure to drop a like down below. Feel free to subscribe as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so before we start today's video, I do want to give a quick shout out to some of you guys that always show a ton of support on my videos, aka the notification squad. So I would like to give a massive shout out to Oliver Kelson, Evan01, Dominic Hughes, Squidward21, Presley Edwards, and TCB Ace. As always, if you guys would like a shout out in a future video, all you have to do is drop a like down below, screenshot the image, and send me it on Twitter. All my social media links will be down below in the description. However, kicking things off straight away with the very first glitch, and this is a completely random glitch, but nonetheless is a brand new glitch, so I thought I'd include it in today's video. And that's how you guys can remove the snow completely from your game. Now, personally, I don't see why anyone would want to remove the snow from the game. In my personal opinion, it is one of the coolest features that Rockstar Games do update the game with. But I do know a lot of you guys may be tryhards and you like to run and gun. So just playing in the snow gives you guys a massive disadvantage whether you're trying to chase someone down or whether or not you're just trying to aim down your sniper and you keep on getting a foggy, blurry view. And the best thing is, it's very, very easy to do. So all you guys want to do is be in a free run public session. As you can see, I am on screen and it is currently snowing. Obviously, Rockstar Games did add the snow back into the game with the New Year's Eve update. But all you guys want to do is press start, go across the online jobs or Rockstar are created and you basically just want to start up any of the new stunt races and this hasn't got to be any particular race it can literally be any of the stunt races once you guys are in the race and it does count down three two one and the game does start from here all you want to do is press start go across to your online or crew members and you simply just want to join any one session now all you guys want to make sure is that your friend or the person that you're joining is not playing a mission or a job at the time you're joining them and they must also have the same aim preferences as you and you guys will notice upon joining your friend's session the snow will be gone you guys will be able to roam around the map as if it was normal whilst everyone in your session will be in a snowy map so it is a pretty trippy glitch not one that i'll personally be using but i thought a lot of you guys may find this handy as i do know the snow isn't for everyone i hope you're ready for some intense skiing action weather conditions are optimal air temperature is negative 10 degrees celsius snow temperature is negative 8 degrees celsius humidity 85 percent wind well, who the fuck cares about wind anyway? To do this epic skateboarding skiing glitch, all you guys want to do is pull off any owned car that you have in the game. If you guys are really broke, you can go ahead and get an Elegy off the San Andreas website for free. So this works with an Elegy. This is a great thing about this glitch. It works with absolutely every single car in the game. Now, once you guys have got your own car, you just want to park it up on any hill or any mountain in the game. This is another great thing. This works on absolutely every hill, every single mountain. You want to pull up your interaction menu and you want to select open all doors. Now, once you done that pull up a shotgun and shoot off the hood of the car try not to shoot with too many bullets as you don't want it to go flying one bullet should do it and you'll notice that it'll fall off straight away now we've got a board that we're going to use to ski down this hill you want to stand just in front of it and start shooting it with your pistol just one bullet at a time and when you see it start to move run jump on that bitch and then you guys will see your character will literally start skateboarding down the hill it doesn't matter how steep the hill is it doesn't matter what hood you're using on any car as you guys can clearly see your guy will keep the balance on the hood and it just looks epic even here a little ollie there if you guys aren't familiar that's a jump in skateboarding terms as you guys can see you'll be able to jump off little that islands land it and still stay on the board i'm not gonna lie when my friend was first showing this to me and i first heard about it i thought to myself ah ain't gonna be that good it might be a bit fun but this ended up being so much more better than i originally thought so as you guys can see now i went to a bit more steeper hill this time using a different car sultan rs which i know a lot of people also own that's why i thought i'd try out this one just park it off in any hill or any mountain in the game shoot off the front hood and the next thing you know you've got yourself a little mini skateboard now this time i didn't even have to shoot it sometimes it will start to slide automatically but as you guys can see i get exactly the same results a perfect skateboard for my character to balance off and if it looks like you're about to fall look as you guys can see i'm moving around on the board while i'm moving and it's going so fast like i said it doesn't descend or decrease in speed when it's going up a hill it'll just keep on going keep on pummeling so if you guys can get a bunch of your friends maybe to race each other using this little glitch it does 
have the potential to have a shit ton of dope food. Or even take some cool snapmatic pictures. If you guys do end up using it and putting together some little pictures, do be sure to tag me in the pictures on Twitter at Laser Gaming. All my social media and stuff will be down below in the description. If you guys do want to come and follow me, I do post a load of random shit. However, as you guys can see on screen, the third time I'm doing it, this time with a different car again on a different hill, and I get exactly the same results. Obviously, the hoods on different cars are more bigger. You might even be able to like get two of you to balance on one hood, but as you guys can see there, I ended up crashing into a hill and getting some mad airtime. However, I must say it does work really well with the Banshee, even though one end of it is really hard to stand on initially. Once you actually get on the thing, because the hood, as you guys can see, is so big, it is so hard to fall off this thing. And like I said earlier, it works on practically every single mountain or hill within GTA 5. So this glitch literally does have endless potential for you guys to drive around the map, find some sick spots. And if you guys end up hitting some epic runs, just like earlier on in my video, definitely save it to the Rockstar editor and play around with it, try and put together some cool little clips. This is looking like it's gonna be a spectacular move. Good heavens, it's the droopy titty technique. Can they stick the landing? They pulled it off. They have just executed one of the most complicated moves in all of ski jumping pairs. Let's see that again. Take note of the skier's ability to simulate what a titty would look like if it was hanging from those skis. If we put an elderly woman's titty on those skis and put it side by side with this footage right here, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. guys want to do if you don't know where Leicester's factory is head to this location on the map it's at an extremely popular location as you guys can see it's a stone throw from a pain spray nonetheless there's about five or six owned apartments that you can buy in this area so it's more than likely you can spawn right next to this location now once you guys arrive at Leicester's factory you want to get a car of decent height similar to the Roosevelt you can see on screen now once you guys have got a car of decent height you simply want to look for this trailer you can see parked up behind me and you want to line your car up right behind it just so you can jump on top of the roof and then jump straight on top of the trailer now once you guys get on top of the trailer you want to walk straight past these windows and you should notice a ladder on the left leading onto the highest point of the roof simply go up here and then you guys will notice when you're on the main roof there should be three sets of slanted windows you want to go to the middle set right here and then you want to press rb on the xbox or r1 on the playstation just so you can take a cover by the window now from here basically position your body so you're central in this window roughly around the middle section it's very easy to tell because there's a darker line going right through the middle so simply just line your character's body up against the window how I've got on screen pull up your phone and then you want to start any adversary mode now once you guys arrive at this point in the menu you just simply want to flick through all of the options once so change the team balancing change the time of day just do all this once and then simply back out from here now if done correctly you guys will notice as soon as you back out you'll be spawned straight into Lester's factory it is literally as easy as that I know I've had tons and tons of requests from you guys asking how I get inside Lester's factory and that has been a few different methods on how to do this over the years however this has got to be by far the easiest and most straightforward now if you guys haven't been in this building before it is pretty detailed i'm not going to lie there's lots of textures around it a lot of sewing machines and it actually comes with npcs as you guys can see on screen none of the other buildings like the fib there's never any npcs in the buildings but you do have someone to keep you company in this wall breach now obviously it's a god mode wall breach as no one's going to be killing you inside this wall breach if you guys aren't aware the only way you really die in wall breaches is by ricochets from explosives so by sticky bombs or rpgs so unless you guys are right up against the door maybe downstairs then you will get killed but as soon as you guys stay central in any building because it's so big and so detailed all you have to do is just simply walk around and you are invincible from getting killed by anybody so definitely use it to troll some of your friends have fun with them try and see if they can come and find you i guarantee they won't great thing about this method is is 100 solo it doesn't require you to be a vip or anything like that and it does work on the playstation xbox and pc so the great thing about this glitch also is there is tons and tons of different t-shirts that you can mix and match to come out with some really crazy looking t-shirts so as you guys can see i've got pink t-shirts purple blue green white this is another great thing about this glitch it practically works with every single t-shirt in the game so as you guys can see on screen the first thing you guys want to do is select what color
color you want the t-shirt to be so i'm gonna go with this like lilac purpley looking colors i think it looks really unique however i'm not too much of a big fan of the logo on the t-shirt so I mean, that's what i'm gonna be changing so first things first as you guys can see i've selected the lilac t-shirt you want to select whatever color t-shirt you want now as soon as you guys have selected the color of the t-shirt you guys want to keep simply back out as i do on screen and now you want to find any logo from any other t-shirt that you want to transfer onto that logo so in this case i'm going to be going for this like really unique looking smiley heart this also works with special tops so like i said you do have a shit ton of potential to mix and match so many t-shirts available in the game i'm going to be using this little heart as an example but also just to quickly prove that the old method isn't working as you guys can see when i'm hovering over the smiley heart t-shirt and i press the pause menu it automatically switches me back to my lilac shirt even though i haven't selected it so all you guys want to do is be wearing the shirt of the color that you want from the t-shirt go down to the t-shirt with the logo that you want now you don't want to select the t-shirt with the logo that you want to transfer you just want to hover over it for about five to ten seconds as you can see me doing on screen right now so as you guys can clearly see this t-shirt is pink however i want to transform that to purpley lilac the t-shirt i currently have selected so once you guys are hovering over it all you guys want to do is press your xbox button or your playstation button to access your friends list now from here it's completely up to you what's easier for you to do so you can go to your recent players and just join someone's session if you guys have got some friends playing gta 5 go ahead and join their session or you can accept one of their invites to a brand new session in my case i actually just joined a recent player session just to make sure that this is a solo method and it doesn't require any other friends so you can just join a random person you don't even know session there should be a few different players if you have no recent players on gta 5 maybe join a few sessions before you do this glitch so once again you want to be hovering over the t-shirt when you join that session and you should notice in the bottom right it will say getting gta online session details then you will get prompted with a message shortly after saying you've entered a party are you sure you'd like to join just simply click yes and you guys will notice if done correctly you should spawn in with the lilac t-shirt that you was wearing instead you should have the logo though of the t-shirt that you was hovering over boom as you guys can see i've got the smiley love heart on top of this lilac t-shirt very exclusive to my character there is no way anyone else in gta 5 will be walking around with this t-shirt unless they've done this exact glitch that i've done can see this wall breach is located at an extremely popular location as you guys can see it's slap bang in the middle of rockford hills right next to all of the shops you've got the cinema right here which i'm looking into you've got the clothing store which i'm actually standing on top of okay so as you guys can see on screen this is the location of the wall breach that you want to head to to get inside of it as i mentioned earlier it's an extremely popular location another great thing about this wall breach is is a solo method it doesn't require any friends all you guys want to do is simply get a big car or like a four x four truck that you can see on screen right now and simply park it up at the side of this clothing store now from here get on top of the truck and then simply jump on top of the clothing store now from here you don't want to walk too far ahead you want to pull out a gun aim towards your right side and you want to jump up on top of another layer so this wall breach you can explore around these shops a shit ton as it is multi-layered but as you guys can see once you get on the second layer you will kind of just drop onto a flat surface now if you guys are looking to use this wall breach to troll your friends that maybe use it like a god mode invincible ability wall breach it is possible to do so like i said you are actually standing on top of a clothing store so all you guys have to simply do is shoot like a noob tube underneath you or start spraying a few bullets basically what that will do is close down the clothing store so none of your friends will be able to get near you by going underneath into the clothing store and pulling out a gun nonetheless that is going to do it for me guys a brand new secret wall breach glitch working after all the latest patches if you guys have enjoyed this video all i ask is to drop a cheeky like down below feel free to subscribe if you're new as i post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in my next video.